Warning, this video may contain content that may offend people. Please respect our opinions and be open-minded. Thank you. America has set many standards to determine who we look at as our heroes and our villains, but how do we really? Do we separate people into categories, although they have done the same thing just because of our point of view? For example, Osama bin Laden. He was born one out of 50 kids, being the lived kid out of the 50. He grew up as any other child, and he grew up as any other own Muslim. He, he believed in what, what he stands for and stands for what he had believed. The tragedy of 9-11 made Osama bin Laden the person that he is known as today. Most people look at him as a terrorist, but if you're from Saudi Arabia and you're a Muslim, you may look at him as a freedom fighter. I wanted to know others' opinions on Osama bin Laden, so I interviewed Mr. Stephen Barr. I asked him the question, does Osama bin Laden differ from any other American who has killed innocent people? Here was his response. There's no respect of sin. So, like, if you are a murderer, you are a murderer. And even though it's a grander scale, he was responsible for killing more people. That doesn't um, mean anything more than if somebody decided to kill somebody on the street. So he now that we know about Osama bin Laden, let's go to Samuel Adams. Samuel Adams was born on September 27, 1722 in Boston, Massachusetts. His father was a brewer and his mother was straightforward. He graduated from Harvard College in 1740, but he was unsure of the career path he wanted to take. In 1764, he married, he married Elizabeth Wells, and that caused him to begin being active in politics. Samuel Adams was also the founder of the Sons of Liberty. The Sons of Liberty was organized in 1765 to protest the Stamp Act. The Sons of Liberty was an influential group and were against British rule. They participated in time feathering and the stockpiling of arms, shots, and gunpowder. Now, here's the moment we all been waiting for. Deciding who's the hero and who's the villain. Samuel Adams and Osama bin Laden were both heroes and villains depending on your point of view. Both were two people standing up for what they believed in even though it did not please everyone. They were both men searching for respect no matter if that was meant throwing tea in the ocean or crashing a plane into towers. They both fall into the same category because the fact still remains that their actions cause somebody to feel more respected. I feel like as Americans we are all hypocrites. America has killed innocent people in other countries, yet certain people look at Osama as the worst person just because what he did did not benefit us. I hope this video encourages everyone to have an open mind and remember that we are all human and just because something doesn't benefit us doesn't make it worse than when we do something that doesn't benefit them. Everything, everything, that's all, folks.